It's now time for Ask the Vet, brought to you by Brasses Valley Equine Hospital, dedicated professionals committed to helping each horse reach its full athletic potential. So Ashley and Conroe has a question about gastric ulcers in the horse. Well, Ashley, there's only one way to know if a horse has gastric ulcers, and that is to pass a three meter long scope down into the horse's stomach. And using that scope, we can look to see if there are ulcers. The horse stomach is unique in that it has two halves, a half that is similar to our stomach and a half that is similar to our esophagus. And when we talk about gastric ulcers in the horse, we're actually talking about a syndrome that is much more similar to esophageal reflux or heartburn in people, where there's constant acid exposure to this top half of the stomach. An example of an ulcer in the horse is this photograph here of a horse with a grade three stomach ulcer. Because the ulcers are caused by chronic acid exposure, the treatment for ulcers in the horse is to inhibit the acid. Currently, there's only one product which is approved for treatment of ulcers in the horse, and that is GastroGuard. GastroGuard, or, or a similar product called UlcerGuard, can be used to prevent ulcers in times of stress when the horse is traveling or showing or when the management doesn't allow the horse to have constant access to pasture or graze all day long. Symptoms of ulcers in the horse include mild chronic colics, poor performance, potentially some abdominal pain when you're cinching the saddle, or just overall uh, change in the horse's personality. So Ashley, thank you for the question. Gastric ulcers are an important and common problem in performance horses. And if you have additional questions, you might contact your local veterinarian. And if you'd like to submit a question to this Ask the Vet segment, um, look us up on Facebook at Brazos Valley Equine. Ask the Vet, brought to you by Brasses Valley Equine Hospital, now with three convenient locations in Texas, Navasota, Rockdale, and Stephenville.